What the heck is going on everyone? In this video, we're going to make it really quick. I'm just going to show you a common pitfall that beginners make and actually some more advanced programmers can make it as well. It's just basically a little typo that you may not understand the error for and so you might look it up and if you did look it up, you may have come across this video in which case I'm going to show you the answer. So you're writing your JavaScript application. In this case, it's just a really simple node application with a single uh, route here that just sends a, a greeting back to the user when they access the route. So you run your app and right away the app fails and it gives you an error and it says syntax error invalid shorthand property initializer and it, it highlights the line where the issue is and it tells you that it's on line 6 of app.js. So we open up app.js, go to line 6, here's the line. So I'll give you a second to see if you can spot the issue. All right, so if you spotted it, that's great. This is just a really, one of those things where you've, you've been coding for like several hours and then you get this error and you're like, wait, what? And it doesn't make any sense. And then if you were to take a break or if you were to Google for the error, then you'd probably very quickly figure out what you did wrong. Uh, it's just kind of a face palm kind of thing. So right here we have some object variable that we're assigning to an object literal. And then we're accessing the greeting property from that object here in this res.send line. We're not getting to this line because the error is occurring here. Invalid shorthand property initializer. So this is a property of the object and this is a property. And to initialize, meaning to assign the variable to a value, we have to have a, what they're calling an initializer. And the shorthand initializer that we're supposed to use is a colon and we accidentally put in equal signs because we're thinking, oh, variable is equal to value, just like we did some object is equal to the object here. But once we're inside the object, the object syntax for the shorthand initializer that gets used to assign the key to the value in each of the properties is actually a colon. And so you probably already knew that, so I don't really need to explain it to you. But again, if you're coding for a while, you're tired, and you don't see the typo right away it can be staring you right in the face and it can be a hard one to identify so now that we have resolved that by adding in the colons instead of the equal sign we can save go run our application again and this time it runs the application with no error another one just real quick is maybe you did the equal signs and you also put semicolons at the end right so again, you're just forgetting that you're inside of an object literal and you're using regular variable assignment or initialization syntax with the equal sign. And so instead of catching the equal sign, it actually catches the semicolon. It'll tell you unexpected token. This one's fairly easy though because it tells you exactly where the error is. So you just go and maybe you realize, oh, I need to put a comma there. This one I don't need. You save it, run it again, and now you're back to that original error. So you know how to solve this one now. You just replace the equal signs with colons, and your app is running successfully. All right, that's it. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.